Hi, welcome to the Compile Group. So today we're going to present on how to create a reporting SQL using R Studio, as it is very difficult to work on Excel for any type of reporting. For example, here I'm having a data file of 10 10 MB. You can see it is taking too much time. Having a, a row entry around. 16,000 if we apply any calculation or any logic it will take very much time like it will take half a day to perform your application for reporting purpose so in this video we're going to turn how you can create a summary report by using our studio so close with the reports so what you need to do is first you need to have create oh, I already created one uh, R studio markdown so in this to fire the SQL you need to have library SQL DF if you do not have a library SQL DF you can you can directly uh, install from here or you can write install dot packages SQL DF now coming to the next thing I have created two folders one is for data where I kept the data and another is for export where I export the required report so what I will do I will first write my library which I require to file SQL then I will load my I will first clear the existing data then I will load my my actual data that of 16,000 rows then I will run this code you can see it will take some time huh yeah it's come so it has 64 variable having a row count of 16,709 as we have seen right so now you can apply any SQL operation on that so I have created one SQL so what you have to do is simply I just want report in this format district notified area I want farmer premium and total premium sum insured by category wise and this to be on the basis of state farmer type scheme crop season farmer type notified area this is my group by function so that I do not want a full data dump I want a summary report so what I will do I will run the SQL from our variable where I store the data right so it will run the SQL now you can see here I have 19 column which I required for my summary report and total of 16,700 I have created 418 line entries for preparation of summary report that is because of group by function right now I can export the same result into the export file by using this command write dot table r1 result I need to export which I have having one four one eight rows what I have to do write export and the path then run now you can have to check yeah report has been created at this time it in one we'll open this report now what we check it's having only four one nine so as it is because of we have performed SQL operation so it takes all the summary level report count function so I hope it will save you a lot of time on a performing lot of operation on Excel instead of you can perform this very easily in a second on R studio hope you like this video please like subscribe if any question or what you want in the next video please put in your comment thank you have a nice day